hello everyone we'll continue that topic so in the previous video we finished up to the creation of the object of the container now what is the next step we have to create a object of alv grid class and what will be the parent of that alv grid container class object will act as a parent so i will declare one object of alv grid now data hello underscore grid type ref i will pass the name of my grid class which sap provided these all are sap standard classes name is not starting with z or y now i will create the object of this alv grid class create object hello underscore grid i'll check the syntax and see i am getting a error now for alv grid it is saying you have to pass the value to the mandatory parameter i underscore parent now we will see where i underscore parent is whenever this object will create sap will call the constructor method of this particular class i'll search this is my constructor method it is a instance constructor so there is a option to pass the parameters all these are parameters but you can see out of all these parameters only one is mandatory only one is mandatory that is i underscore parent and i am getting a error for this particular parameter and you can see the description also you have to pass the container you have to pass the container you have to pass the object of the container if you see i underscore parent is referring to this particular container class this particular container class so how we can pass in our program in the constructor method it is importing so whenever we will pass it will treat as exporting and what is the name of the method what is the name of the parameter i underscore parent and in front of i underscore parent what i have to pass the object of my container and you can see what is my object of the container hello underscore object so your container is acting as a parent to the grid parent to the grid because grid is inside the container so we created the object of the container we created the object of the grid and your container is acting as a parent to the grid now what is the next step you have to use set table for first display method to bind the data with the field catalog or you can say to display the output you have to use this method you can see we created the object of our grid class we created the object of our grid class and what is the method name in this particular class 
set table for first display. You can see this is the method we have to use. And what is this type of method? Instance method. If there is an instance method, I have to always call this method with the help of object. We have to declare the object. We have to create the object. Have we done both the things? Yes, we did both the things. We declared the object. We created the object. Can I call this method now? Yes, we can call the method. So how I can call this method? I'll go to pattern, a map object patterns. Now, what is the name of your instance? Hello underscore grid. What is the class? CL GUI ALB grid. Now, method. You can see F for help. Lots of methods are there, but we have to use set table for first display method. So I will use that method. Set table for first display. I'll search that method. It will be easy. End. I'll just wait. I think system is taking time. So for this particular class, we are calling the method set table for first display. But with the help of object, as it is an instance method. I just see the system is available or not. It's available. I think here it is taking time. Okay. Now, this exporting as of now, it's not required. So I'll just remove this. Now, what is your data? In which internal table you have that data? LT underscore final. And what is the name of your field catalog which you created? LT underscore field cat. And best practices is you have to always, always uncomment the exceptions. I'll check the syntax and I'm activating the program. So what we did, we created the object of the container. We created the object of the grid and container is acting as a parent to the grid. And we use the grid method set table for first display to bind our data with the field catalog. Now, next thing, we did everything, but have we designed the container? We have not designed the container yet. So we have to design the container where it will display the, and in that container, it will display the ALB grid. This part will continue in the next video. Thank you.